This demo will showcase our database to Salesforce account broadcast template. Broadcast is the act of moving data from a single source system to many destination systems in an ongoing, near real-time or real-time basis. Essentially, it is one-way synchronization from one to many. This type of integration is useful when synchronizing data from one system to another in real time. Creating a sales order in one system when an opportunity is marked as one in another, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that utilizes this template to broadcast its accounts from a database to a Salesforce instance in real time. Right now, let's see how it works inside of two different systems. Here inside of our database, we can see an account named Amtrak. Let's go ahead and change the number of employees for that account from 19,000 to 20,000. Then, when we go to our Salesforce instance and refresh the page, we can see that the number of employees for that account was updated to 20,000 as well. Similarly, if we take an Edge Communication account and change the industry from electronics to communication, when we go back to our Salesforce instance, we can see that the account information was updated accordingly. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template's already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see a database connector that retrieves accounts from our database. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here we will find a Salesforce connector that queries accounts from our Salesforce instance, matching them with each record retrieved from a database by name. Then, we use Data Mapper to transform the account data to match with the Salesforce data structure. Next, we upsert the information into our Salesforce instance, which means that we create new records and update existing ones. The last step that we do, we log a message report that the migration process has been completed. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce and database credentials in the Properties file and run the application. Today, we've shown you our Database to Salesforce account broadcast template and broadcasted accounts from one system to another. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.